Hi everyone, back again. Okay, I'm uh, gonna uh, try to include some past uh, experimental stuff into the uh, future, well, <laughs> present uh, experiments. So, uh, for a new driver, uh, I had that original uh, simple square wave thing and then I uh, built this uh, ZVS circuit. It's not entirely a ZVS circuit, meaning zero voltage switching, um, but it is really, really good. Um, except today, I'm trying out the MEG circuit, um, illustrated by JLN Labs. And uh, I was actually pretty surprised the uh, first time I hooked it up and uh, uh, three volts to it and got some light out of it so kept turning it up and uh, never drew very much current um, so we've got uh, that much going in and our load we've got 14.98 uh, just about uh, 15 volts across our load uh, got the scope hooked on the output uh, it's kind of a big mess of wires but um, I uh, have it hooked up uh, my little secret way <laughs> anyway because uh, not all configurations work so it, it was a pretty mm, kind of an accidental thing uh, but I'll eventually show you how that's wound um, but the circuit, I was really impressed. It's a TL494 driving two uh, MOSFETs and channels. And I'm um, still not sure if this um, electrolytic cap is supposed to be electrolytic. Um, it really might not be because it, it doesn't say it is, but uh, I think maybe he just left out the, uh, <clears throat> the polarities on the circuit which I'll post later on. Um, anyway, so I can adjust the frequency between 18 and uh, uh, 60 kilohertz, and you can watch there's some resonant uh, points. So I'll start at the bottom here. And that seems to be the most intense. I'm going to have to switch out some components in the circuit to uh, uh, get any, uh, you know, a different range of frequencies. But I uh, was really impressed with this uh, circuit running first time. Um, and we've got uh, strong, strong output uh, compared to... Well, you know, the input and output is a little tough to say right now, but uh, usually you just have, uh, you know, 12.25 uh, volts at the most at uh, 307 milliamps, you know. So here, at least we've got a higher sustained voltage. Uh, I can show you the... Um, the square wave going in <clears throat> and it's basically just the same as it's showing here 12 volts uh, but uh, yeah we've got a nice strong voltage on the output it's not weaker than 12.2 anyway and uh, gonna be uh, driving some uh, met glass windings see how that works out I'm gonna have to lower the frequency though uh, a friend of mine told me that it was uh, something like 13 kilohertz. Uh, he could measure a ring in the core itself. So I imagine if you try to go much past uh, what the core naturally wants to ring at, then you'd be, you know, kind of forcing things. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'll be using this circuit to drive other things and possibly uh, solid state magnifier and um, yeah
So I think I'm going to get a 10 turn uh, 50k. This is a 25k. Um, and play with the values in here. Maybe switch that to a uh, ceramic as well. Same with those. It's 100 microfarad and 10. Uh, 100 nanos, 100 micros, some resistors in there, just some jumpers. And then you can adjust, like I was showing, from about 60 kilohertz down to about 18 kilohertz. There's a bit of ring on the, just on the collapse of the the wave there but and on the start of the wave there's definitely a sweet spot Ooh, 15 point three that is bright this thing is getting hot Have a good one.